So for this assignment, um, I wanted to just give you this with a bit of extra time um, so that you could get a start on it whenever it makes sense for you. With this assignment, I kind of wanted to do something, I don't know, fun, or at least I think it could be fun if you dove into one of these topics, right? These are all topics related to the things that we've been um, exploring this term. And I have here this idea that developmental psychology is a discipline with deep roots in the history of psychological thought. And in this assignment, each of you will be exploring a core concept from the broader discipline of psychology. Um, so what I want you to do is pick one of these topics and I want you to learn a bit about it, right? And so if you pick something like confirmation bias or the elaboration likelihood model, it'll be pretty easy to find information on that. If you're looking something for like magic number seven, I gave you the name George A. Miller or like if you're looking at something like the surrogate mother that that's Harry Harlow. So I kind of gave you where to start with that. And yeah, I'd love to see where you go with it. I want you everybody to answer these four questions then. What is that main concept and, and why should, you know, kind of people care about it? Make an argument to me, the audience or the reader, that this psychological concept still has value in our modern times. Number two, what's the main theoretical contribution of, of that concept? And number three, what does that concept contribute to teaching us about human psychology? So say if it's confirmation bias, it's like, okay, we'll explain what that is. How does that contribute to psychology? What does it teach us about us especially in these modern times and how can we use that teaching to help us add value to our personal life i want this to kind of i know this has been a tough term for a lot of people in a lot of ways and it's like i thought this could be a kind of fun way to end where we just everyone just kind of picks a topic dives a bit into it answers questions that are basically just trying to get to this idea of like what's relevant about this and why is it still something worth studying today and you can present this in, you know, if you wanted to do a video or a podcast kind of response like some of you have done with your reflections. I'm just asking for that to be a, kind of like a 10 minute total for all the questions combined. Or if you wanted to write a more traditional essay sort of between six and eight double space pages. All right. So if anyone has any questions, they can reach out. But this is um, especially with some of the issues around the quest assignment i'm trying to make this as clear and straightforward it's basically pick a topic answer the four questions and then choose one of three uh delivery modes all right i'll see you in the next video and have a great weekend